Hi, what's up guys? It's Dr. Mozam Tewana here. And in today's class, we are going to talk about the GSM channels. Now, when we talk about the GSM channels, basically these are the channels which are allocated on the radio or the air interface. This means they are allocated between the BTS and the mobile station. Now, uh, as in one of our talks, we uh, uh, earlier we uh, discussed that uh, basically the number of frequencies that are assigned to a BTS determine its capacity and these are basically assigned in the form of ARFCNs are absolute radio frequency channel numbers and one absolute radio frequency channel number basically consists of a 200 kilohertz frequency in the uplink and a 200 kilohertz frequency in the downlink and one such ARFCN or absolute radio frequency channel number is basically handled by one TRX so the number of ARFCNs that have been uh, given to a base station determine the number of TRXs it has. This means that three if uh, three ARFCNs are given to a base station, it will have three uh, three uh, if three uh, if three ARFCNs are given to a base station, it will have uh, three TRXs. These, uh, for example, you can see this case here that here. This is the TRX1 with its uplink frequency and its downlink frequency. TRX number 2 with its uplink frequency and its downlink frequency. Now, these frequencies are further subdivided into 8, a frame of 8 time slots. And this means that, uh, for example, and one such time slot, for example, I, if I take this time slot, time slot number 2, then its ARFCN number plus its time slot number will identify it as a physical channel. And so each of this, these time slots is a physical channel which is characterized by its ARFCN number and its time slot number. Now the type of information that is being carried on this physical channel determines uh, what type of logical channel this time slot is carrying. So, logical channels are basically classified based upon the type of information that is being uh, carried and these logical channels are mapped onto the physical channels. And uh, when we talk about the logical channels, basically there are two main classifications of the logical channels. One is the traffic channels and the other is the control channel. We will talk about the uh, control channels later on, but first we talk about the traffic channels. In the traffic channels, you have full rate channels, TCH, uh, TCH full rate channels and TCH half rate channels. Now, what, how, what is meant by the full rate and half rate TCH channels? Basically, TCH channels uh, are used to either carry voice or to carry the internet data. And first take the example of full rate case. For example, we take the frequencies of TRX number 2. And we, as we said earlier that we have the uh, frames of 8 time slot each in the uplink frequency and the downlink frequencies. And these 8 uh, frame time slot is then repeated. This uh, in the uplink and in the downlink. Now, if I assign for example, time slot number 2 to this user in this frame, in the frame number 1 in, in the frame number 2, I also assign this time slot, uh, this time slot to this user, time slot number 2 to this user and I, uh, this time slot remains assigned during the du duration of the call to this mobile station. Uh, then this configuration is known as the full rate configuration of the TCH channel uh, and in this way as you can see that we can assign up to 8 users in a frequency and uh, and so if we are trans uh, if we are transmitting speech then we can have a speech rate of 13 kbps and if we are using it uh, for a uh, for one user and if we are using this uh, uh, this time slot for data, 
then we can have a data of 9.6 kbps 4.8 kbps and 2.4 kbps for this user depending upon the channel conditions good channel conditions we have higher data rate for this user 9.6 kbps and bad channel condition we have a poor rate which is 2.4 kbps but now these channels uh, are not these uh, channels uh, data channels which are used to carry the internet uh, data are not very important because we have gprs and edge uh, in which we uh, use a different methodology we will come to that later on uh, and what happens in the half rate configuration half in the half rate configuration what happens is that for example we have assigned the time slot number 2 to this mobile station in this frame but in the next frame we assign time slot number 2 to the this mobile station and in the next frame again we assign this time slot number 2 to this mobile station so this time slot number 2 is being alternatively assigned to mobile station 1 and mobile station 2 in the alternate frames so in this way we can very well see that we can accommodate 16 users in uh, to the uh, to this uh, uh, to this frequency so our capacity has been doubled but we are using uh, we are assigning those users in the alternate basis uh, eight users in the first frame uh, remaining eight users in the next frame and then the previous eight users in the third frame so in this case you can very well see that the speech rate that was 13 kbps for the full rate has now been half to the 6.5 kbps and similarly that these data rates will also get half so um, so the compromise is that in the half rate channels uh, you have more users your capacity is doubled but at the same time your speech quality has degraded so this is used in the cases where for example uh, you have some area where there are many users uh, but you have limited frequencies or limited hardware so what you can do is that you can convert the full rate channels to the half rate channels there so the capacity doubles but at the cost of quality of the uh, voice that a user is hearing.